Oh man, take a look inside of this thing. Hey, what's up guys, it's Silverseeker, and today we are exploring an old bank that closed this location a while back and my buddy is getting ready to buy the building for his business. So since we got to go in during the building inspection, I figured we'd take the camera and explore. So let's get in there and check it out guys. While we're doing that, make sure you like and subscribe so you see more like this in the future. Now let's go explore. So this part right here is the entrance. So this is where you come into the main, the side door, which is gonna be the main door. When he gets it, you can see the vault over there behind my friend. And as you look in, of course, you have the teller station right up front. If you look at the top of the ceiling, look how ornate that is. That is so cool. And that is, that is just so beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and go. So this is behind the teller station. So obviously the other side of what we were just looking at. So you can see you got all the teller stations right here. They have the little bars on the front of the window. I'm guessing a security type feature. I'm not sure how that's a big security type feature, but I guess for only ones that it would be. The teller drawers with the keys in them still. There's even some trash still in that trash can, I guess, from the last time a teller ate at that station, which is crazy to think about. I kept hoping that I would find like some coins or something laying around because it's so old. But I'm sure that, you know, like, exam for example, this area has probably been replaced over the years. So chances of that happening are pretty slim. I doubt that these are as old as the building is. But off to the left of the teller station, there's this big open area. And I'm guessing it was like a meeting area or something like that. This is like a storage closet. And he's, he's going to be using this to do like a Magic the Gathering type store um, with Warhammer and things like that. Uh, so he'll have like Warhammer stuff over here. And then behind that stained glass over there, there were actually uh, the people that still own the bank. They were having a little meeting over there. We were actually there because there was a building inspection. And so he got to be there for the building inspection, obviously, while the inspector was doing his thing. So that's why I got to look around. And of course, we're behind the teller station now. You can see that the security camera's still going. There's file index cards, uh, all sorts of stuff going over here now. Back this way is really cool because this is going to take us to the um, to the drive-through area. So backing up these stairs. So this is really cool. You're going to like this. So of course you got an exit back here and a little storage closet over off there over to the right. And then in here, this is where the drive-through is. So you can see the the little drive-through things. Obviously not as old as the building. Once again, you know the building itself is over 100 years old, but obviously there's been additions and updates. But uh, you know you got like this would be like the cash drawer that comes out. I, I, I assume, and then you know same same thing was over here to the right. I don't know if we saw it. Yeah, that right there. So that would be like the business cash drawer if you needed to do change or get a box of coin or whatever, because you're a coin roll hunter. You can see outside of the window right there is really cool. So very cool to be back here. Of course, the security camera, obviously they had, they were looking at me the whole time, I'm sure. And then over here on this side, it's just another little storage closet area. I'm not sure what this actually was used for. You can kind of see the brick and Mason. And, and this is definitely like a brick and Mason you know, type building. I, I don't know much about construction, but you could just tell a lot of masonry work, uh, a lot of bricks, you know, Anyway, uh, leaving out of the teller area, that is one of the two ways that I know of to go downstairs. Again, I didn't get to go down. Um, I could have, but the inspector was down there at the time, and by the time he was done, it was it was time to go. So, so heading back out of the teller area, we're going to go ahead and head back down into the main area that we were at, and we'll go up over to the other side. And uh, there's some really cool stuff over here, I, I think is gonna be really cool for a shop that does magic and Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Um, so in here uh, is a little area that we get to go up and off to the left side. Let's see if I go left here. I think I went, no, I did I go? Yes. This is like a safe. So like, this is like a smaller, smaller vault. 
So obviously I don't know what they were actually using this for, but it looks like mostly it was just records and things like that. I don't, it, it wasn't near as, as powerful. The vault door is the one you, you're going to see up front when we get to it. Um, but this is like a small, this is probably again for records, you know, personal information, documents, things like that, stuff that they don't want people to get to, but they aren't near as worried about as, you know, the financial stuff. And then off to the right here, and again, this is what's really cool for what he's going to be doing with this building. Um, you have this area right here, which he's going to have like to be a private D&D room, which is really, really cool. And you can even see as we show you, it has like a couch and then out this door right here, it even has its own little kitchen area. So you got a working sink. There's a restroom back there, um, you know, all sorts of stuff. Really awesome. And uh, I think I think that's going to be a really cool idea. So you can get like a private D&D group. And then right back there through that door was the other way to go down into the basement. So as you can see, we kind of peeked down there, but don't actually go down into the basement. But supposedly it's really cool, so maybe that'd be for maybe a future video that we'll share. Of course, you have your back exit and, you know, things like that. So again, just really, really cool area. Let's head to a different section that you guys are like to see. Let's head over to the vault. All right, so coming back out, we're going to go back past the teller stations. And uh, the vault is really cool, and something you'll be able to tell about this bank is that the vault was not hidden behind like a door or anything. You could actually see it just coming in, and there it is, guys. Look at that door. Let's go ahead and get inside this thing. So I actually talk a lot while holding the camera during this bit, so after we get inside of this awesome vault, I'll just let you listen to my reactions to everything. Hey guys, it's Seeker, check it out. We're quite literally in a big vault. This is cool. Look at this. Oh, that's wild. So these safety deposit boxes. Imagine all the stuff that has been in these over the years. You can see the ones that have the drill out, I guess, because the person died or whatever. You always wonder what was in here. Like, so like this one here, they probably had to remove the customer's lock. And so, you know, who knows what was actually in this thing. You can't get, the, oh, I guess I could get these boxes out, so. Yeah, they emptied it out for sure. Is cool. And this one has the doors missing, so you won't be able to use that one anymore. But most of these, the doors are still there. The ones, again, you always wonder what the ones they had to drill out had in them. And old index cards. That's where you had people's information. I guess that's like a clock in punch card or something oh so wild every one of those is in, got emptied out and then back over here there's like a little side door kind of cool now look you got a wrapper on the floor wish something was in it right and this is this right here, this is like super heavy metal. Oh man, look at this, there's a penny on the floor. It's uh, nothing. It's on heads though. It was on heads, so that's good luck, right? Very, very cool, 1984. That's good luck. So, really, really neat. Never seen anything like this. some empty safety boxes down there, I guess, for the empty ones. That's so cool. Unreal. This is unreal. It's so cool. 
you're going to get the combination for it and everything. I mean, you, I'm sure you'll be able to change it. Is it a time lock bolt? You don't know. We'll figure that out. And you'll get the keys for the boxes. That's so cool. Look at that, guys. That is wild. That is so wild. I guess that's a key that opens up the mechanism. I don't want to mess with it. that is oh my god wow main vault full righty tiny oh look you can, you can see right here there's some dents where this thing has hit the wall before So back in here is a little room right next to the vault and these little rooms are for like when you take your safety deposit box out and you want to go through them. So you see it has the opaque glass. Uh, that's what that is. So you take it out, you go in here and you have this little private room to go into where you can look through, you know, what's in it. Uh, really, really cool. Oh, cool. So for people to come with their, so out of the vault over here. People bring their little safety boxes in to go sit in the room to go through it. And to finish us off here, just a few stills that I took from inside. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And like I said, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching guys and I do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you guys are new here, before you go don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future notifications and videos when I upload them. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my awesome channel members on the right hand of the screen right now. Thank you guys for making videos like this possible. We will see you next time.